Hello? What, what, where, what, why are you, why are you crying? He packed his stuff and left. Well, I thought things were getting better again. You what? You cheated on him, but wait, <laughs> wait, hold on. He was the one who wronged you and he was trying to work things out. So how how you ended up how you ended up under another man? You are stressed out. So now the remedy for your stress is to is to cheat on your own man. No no no, let's be straight. You know me, I don't beat around the bush. I don't beat around. No, there was a lot of tension in your marriage. I know a lot of things came to a standstill. And I know you were under stress. Life, <laughs> life itself is stressful. We live in a world that's just full of stress every day. But just, just try to explain to me how you ended up under another man. That I can't get. How did you end up under another man? Who is he anyway? His friend? Me. <laughs> Okay, yeah, you went to go talk to him. Why are you acting like you couldn't talk to the friend on a cell phone? You got cell phone. You couldn't talk to that friend on the cell phone? And if you mean you wanted to talk to that friend in person, y'all couldn't do it at a restaurant? Y'all did go to a restaurant? So y'all did it in the restaurant? No, just try. I, I just, um, I can't wrap my thoughts around this. So y'all from the restaurant, yo, 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 when you're eight, you pack up some energy, you know, and some stamina, yo, yo, up your metabolism, and then you're left from there. So where did y'all do it? In the car? Okay. I need details. I need details because I don't know. Every marriage got problems. Every marriage got problems. Sometimes it can feel like you don't. A man, sometimes a man can feel like he don't love his wife anymore. Sometimes a woman can feel like she don't love her man any or uh, husband anymore. That stuff goes up and down. But you got to think of the main reason you value this person so much to say yes to him. You value this woman so much to ask her to marry you. Whatever made you to value that person to, to make a decision to spend the rest of your life with that person is all that matters. Problems may come. Eh? But joy, come up in the morning. You don't know that one? Nobody told you that the road would be easy. Don't believe you actually went and slept with another man. I have none. I, I, I just don't get it. So if y'all didn't do that do in the car, where did y'all go? A hotel. Girl, you, 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 you actually intentionally decided to, to cheat on your husband. Then you call him crying, he packed his stuff and left. What are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? When problems come, that's what you you supposed to do? Yeah, I know. It always feels good talking to somebody else. But going that far? Explain to me what did that do for you, huh? He entered your body. What? Entering your body every time he came out, did he take the stress out? Did he take the stress out of your 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 relationship? Huh? Every time he pull, he go in and come out. Is he bringing all the problems out of your marriage? Every time he go in and come out, especially when he go in, what he put some more feelings into your husband for you, and he go in. I don't know. Every time he go in and coming out, is was that was that repairing your marriage in any way, shape, or form? No, I won't take it easy with you. I won't take it easy with you. I'm telling you the fact. Because I wouldn't jump up problem in my marriage. Don't me. And then you go, <laughs> you go do it with his friend too. What kind of friend is that? First of all, in your own judgment, what kind of friend is he? If, they, if your husband's friend is asking you to go to the hotel, what kind of friend is that? That makes you, you the wife, a very disloyal person. A very disloyal person. If you're lo loyal to your husband, you will not even say go that close to whom? You know? To do so, to, to cheat, to cheat on him. Wait, what kind of hotel did y'all go to? Wow. Y'all went to 
Marriott, downtown. <laughs> a lawyer, this friend was searching for you. He didn't even take you to some kind of motel where there's some bear bugs and human fluids laying around to, to make you not feel like doing it with him. This man been said, I think, no, 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 no. Just tell me the truth. I think you two been eyeing each other. Their conversation has been going on for a while. That's one thing I told my friend a long time ago. I told a friend of mine a long time ago. She was with a husband, but she had not gotten over her ex. And she wanted to go and do it with her ex. I told her, let me tell you something about marriage. After you make that vow, after you make that vow and go home, you may sneak out there with another man or another woman without your partner knowing. Without your partner knowing. But there is something about doing that that breaks the covenant within the other person's spirit. It breaks the covenant within your husband's spirit. If even he doesn't know, it breaks the covenant within your wife. If even she doesn't know, from that point on, it's like everything becomes unstable. Spiritually, emotionally, mentally, something just, it feels like something doesn't feel right anymore. And then for some reason, there is that, that this bad atmosphere, this bad atmosphere just comes in. You know, this, it, it, I'm telling you, see thing. They don't have to see you cheating. They don't have to see you cheating. But I think your own, you've been playing in it for a while. It's been cooking for a while. It just, it just needed something. To, 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 to push it, you know, something uh, something to catapult it so it, into action. I bet you you'll have fun. Well, it's a candle lid, you know, roses, boo smelling. You, you, don't, your heart's more hard to leave. Your heart's more hard to leave. I can't help you with this one, though. I can't help you with this one. You can go as far as right, right close to whom. And do all kind of fancy stuff and carry all the way to Horia Hotel Marriott downtown half a complete honeymoon. Then you want to act like you, you you don't want your house more. You don't want your house more. You don't want a house more. Problems can come, but it can it, it can go it, it leave the emotion, leave the stress, everything that you're going through, it will it will it will it will, it will it, what, what, what what they call it? It will just go away. Give it some time, it will go away. But no, you give it some time. You went to go relieve it. I don't know. No. At this point, I have no way that I can help you. You need to help yourself. I have no way that you, when you are going to go have dinner with this friend, you should have called me. When the friend told you, let's go to the hotel, you should have called me. When you are about to drop your underwear, you should have called me so I can discourage you. But no. You have fun. You have fun. If you're doing it, then you want to call me for me to help you to fix what? Doing that, you wait for a second. Let me ask you, you thought doing that was gonna fix it? Oh, you don't know what you were thinking, but I know you, you knew what you was doing. People made that stupid statement all the time. I didn't know what I was thinking. You knew exactly what you was doing, though, and you knew every, and you know that it was gonna come with a repercussion. My dear, no sin goes unpunished. Whatever your husband does right now, you are the reason. You are the reason, like I say, if you make your husband mad. You gotta find a way to calm him down. That means we'll calm him down. I didn't encourage you to go do that kind of thing. I feel sorry for you. You are a disgrace to me as a friend. You know, I don't get down like that. I would never encourage you to do that. So, what you want me to do to go back? Your husband will come back after you. Girl, you are an undercover cheater. You are an undercover cheater. You've been doing I, I, How am I supposed to believe that this is the first time you actually did that with his friend? I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I'll pray for you. That's all I can do. I'll pray for you. And you better pray high. I will pray for you, but me, I, I don't know. I don't have, my hands are tied. I can't do anything to help you. You ruin it. You ruin it. You know, I need some time to think and realize because I, this is unbelievable for me. I'll call you. I'll call you in like a couple of months or something. To see how everything going. But if you lose this man for good, at least you got another one, right? You already started.